A woman who says she was 16 years old when being sex trafficked when she killed a man who was released from prison this morning. The now 31 year old was granted an early release from her life sentence following support from celebrities, including Rihanna and LeBron James. CBS News correspondent Errol Barnett is in Nashville, Tennessee, with more on her release. Centoya Brown left prison early this morning, hoping for privacy as she re enters society. But her case, which has drawn nationwide attention for years, already speaks volumes. Do you understand why you're here? Yes, ma'am. Brown, seen in this 2011 documentary, says 43-year-old real estate agent Johnny Allen picked her up in 2004 in an area of Nashville known for prostitution. She says Allen agreed to pay her $150 with the intent to have sex, then drove her to his home. He just grabbed me, like, in between my legs, like, he just grabbed it real hard, and he just gave me this look. He rolls over and reaches, like, he's reaching to the side of the bed or something, so I'm thinking, now oh, he's not going to hit me. He's going to get a gun. And, and what did you do at that time? I just grabbed the gun and I shot him. Brown was 16 at the time, but under Tennessee law, was tried as an adult and sentenced to life in prison for murder. I have prayed for a very long time. <sighs> To be with you. Last year, Brown got her first bid for freedom before a parole board. I am a changed person because I, I have no choice but to be. Seven months later, former Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam granted Brown clemency. Centoya was 16. You don't throw away a child. Preston Ship is a former state prosecutor who once fought to keep Brown in prison. He's been advocating for her release. She has all the potential in the world not to just go and do good, but to actually mentor other people. Now, Ship plans to help the thousands of other women in similar situations who are much lesser known. As for Brown, she will remain on parole supervision for the next decade so long as she doesn't break any laws, holds a job, or pursues higher education and receives counseling. She does plan to release a book about her life story this fall. Errol Barnett, CBS News, Nashville, Tennessee. While in prison, Brown earned an associate's degree and says she now wants to use her experiences to help other women and girls suffering abuse and exploitation.